The purpose of this video is to show the power output on the KPA 500. We'll be using the LP 700 for power output. LP 100 will show the drive power. I'll be using the Anon and let's start on 160 meters. Okay. Hello, test one, two, three, four, into a dummy load. Let's go to 80 meters. Hello, test one, two, three, four. 60 meters. Hello, test one, two, three, four. KM60Q is testing. Go to 40 meters. Right. Hello, one, two, three, four. Let's go to 30 meters. Hello, test one, two, three on 30 meters. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's go to 20 meters. Hello, testing on 20 meters. One, two, three, four. Hello, test. One, two, three. All right, 17 meters. Hello, testing. One, two. Okay. 15 meters. Hello, one, two, three, four. 12 meters. Hello, one, two, three, four. 10 meters. Hello, one, two, three, four. Hello, testing one, two, three. And six meters. Hello, one, two, three. On six meters, came 60 Q. The second part of the video, I'm going to let you hear and see the amplifier working using a remote receiver located in Utah, and I'm in Nevada. This is the S meter, this is the frequency. This is the band pass, and we're going to use the anon. Okay. With that said, this is a two second delay, so I will talk for two seconds and then we'll listen back for two seconds. And during this time, I'll enable and disable the amp. So let's turn the volume up. This is the radio only. This is the radio only. This is where the amp enabled. This is where the amp enabled. This is where the amp. This is where the amp. Okay, let's go to the bandpass. This is where the amp. This is where the amp. This is where the amplifier, 500 watts. This is where the amplifier, 500 watts. This is the radio only. 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 This is with the amp. This is with the amp. KM60Q is testing. KM60Q is testing. 